Welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and hopefully one day retiring early. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing the weekly check-in for the week. Let's see what week is it. Uh, week of January 10th through January 16th. I'm going to start by explaining everything I'm going to be using today. First, I'm going to be using the Budget by Paycheck Workbook by The Budget Mom. Um, this is currently available in her shop. She is back in stock, so hurry over there and get it if you are interested. Um, I do not have an affiliate link for her, but I, do, but I did put a link to her shop in the description box below. This is a plum paper notebook. I do have an affiliate discount code for first time buyers of plum paper. So if you've never received a discount code from them before, then you can email me at jbleacher at gmail.com and I will get you your unique discount code. Um, I've had quite a few people email me for a code, but they've already gotten one from plum paper and plum paper won't give me a second one. So if you have gotten one from plum paper at any time in the past, they won't give me a new one for you. Okay. Also, I will be using these category stickers from my friend Kara Jo. Um, she has an, a, a channel called Kara Jo Plans and an Etsy shop with the same name. I have a link to her, to her Etsy shop in the description box below as, as well as a discount code for her shop. These Sharpie highlighters are from Amazon. There is a link down below. And this erasable pen called Friction is also available on Amazon and there's a link down below. And finally, <laughs> the stickers that I use today are from my Etsy shop, Life in Envelopes. There's a link to my shop and a discount code for all of my YouTube viewers down below as well. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, let's start by looking at my expense tracker. I do use the highlighter method from the Budget Mom. And I just want to take a moment and celebrate, look, no yellows. Yay! <laughs> that means I had no miscellaneous expenses this week. Actually, I should say, I didn't have any miscellaneous expenses come out of our family budget this week. Anytime I wanted something, I used my cash envelope for my, my spending money, Jennifer's spending money. And it felt very satisfying today to not have any yellows on our spreadsheet. The way I do this is I um, use one sheet per week and then I have a key down here as to what the categories are and the total for each category. That's gonna come in handy later when we go to put the details in my notebook. Okay, so let's go to the monthly spread and I will share all of our spending with you. Okay, let's start with bills. This week, we had to make a payment for our Disney Plus, which was $8. I round up, by the way, our expenses and I round down our income. That way we always have a little extra in our account than I'm expecting. <laughs> I know that would drive some people crazy, but that's just the way I like to do it. Okay, then we had Google Fi for $52. Google Fi are our cell phones, and this has just been amazing. We used to spend close to $200 a month on cell phones, and now we spend $52 a month on cell phones. And the way it works is if is it costs you that much as long as you don't use, um, as long as you're using Wi-Fi. So if you, if you use the other thing, 3G, 4G, then it's gonna start costing you more money. So we make a point to try to only use Wi-Fi with our cell phones. Next is debt. For me, the difference between debt and bills are bills will always exist and debt will eventually get paid off. So we had a medical debt of $30 that came out on the 12th. Okay, next category is food. David gets $50 a week to spend on food and he prefers to shop at Sam's Club. So um, on Saturday, he spent his $50 at Sam's He's really good about staying on budget. I need to work a little bit harder. When it comes to food, I need to work a little bit harder. See, I also got groceries that day. Um, I get groceries for Logan and I and, and Jacob. Um, and, I, and so I have $100 to spend and I spent 82, which sounds really great, right? But then I went back the next day and I spent 32. I was so excited that I had stayed under budget because our budget is 100. Yeah, but then I realized, oh, I need this, and I need this, and I need this, so I had to go back. I was like, oh, darn. 
Okay, for gas, we did not get gas this week. Miscellaneous, we did not have any miscellaneous expenses. I'm gonna do the happy dance again. <laughs> I think that's the first time in over a year we have not had any miscellaneous expenses. That is so crazy. Okay, next is medical. We had one medical expense this week. We had a pharmacy purchase of $5 on the 11th. Okay, so for house, we had $24 here. Um, and uh, it was Sam's Club. David picked up some things for the house. And then when he got to the car, he said, oh, I forgot dog food. So he had to run back in and get dog food. So, we had, so the first house purchase was $24. And then the next one, when we ran back in to get dog food, it was 13, which seems really cheap to me. I think we usually, I thought we usually spent a lot more than that on dog food, but I could be wrong. Okay, we did not have any sinking funds or cash envelopes. I just want to double check something because I thought we had another house expense. Let me look back here. Yes, we did. Okay, so I need to include that. It's a big one too, $74. Um, we purchased some things from Amazon for the house and it came to $74. So let me make one of those really quick. And when did that come out? The 12th. So our budget for house expenses is $50 per week. So we definitely went over in that category. Um, last week we were under, this week we went over. So let's see how all of this works out uh, as far as meeting our budget goals go. Okay, so I have my budget by paycheck workbook off to the side here so I can get all the information from my um, total and categories. And then here I'm gonna go to my weekly check-in spread for January. And we are looking at the second week here. Let me zoom you in. Okay, I'm gonna start by writing the the Starting balance in each category for bills, we started with 112. For debt, we started with 111. Food, we started with 106. Gas, we started with $1. Miscellaneous, we started with $19. Medical, we started with 50. House, we started with 66. And we're not doing any sinking funds or cash envelopes. We're starting with zero, but we didn't do any as well. Okay, so for bills this week, we spent $60. So that is a difference, let's see. It's a difference of $52. For debt, we budgeted 11. We spent 30. I mean, but we, we sorry, we budgeted 111. We spent 30. That comes to a difference of 81. Okay, for food, we budgeted 106, we spent 164. So we're definitely going to be negative in this category. So we are negative $58. Okay, gas, we, but we had a $1 in that account. We didn't spend anything, so we still have a dollar in that account. Um, miscellaneous, we, at 19, we didn't spend anything, so we still have 19. Medical, we had 50 available. We spent five. Is that right? We didn't spend any, wow. Okay, so that leaves us with 45. House, we had 66 in our budget, but we spent 111, so it's another category where we went over. And that was a difference of $45. Sinking funds will just be zero across the board. Okay, so now I'm gonna add all my totals together. Okay, so we budgeted 465, we spent 370. So if my math is correct, then when I out add and subtract these numbers, we should end with $95. So let's check it out. 95, okay. Okay, so we're ending with a positive, which is great. Um, but it's not like we can just put that towards our debt goals because there are some bills that, and debts that haven't come out yet that still need to come out. So I've already done some work. Here, let me show you. 
Okay, since this is the end of um, this pay period, let's go ahead and close out that part of the budget, which is right here. So we have two medical debts that haven't come out yet and State Farm has not come out yet. So we will need to still pay those. So we're gonna have to roll over some into our next, our next paycheck. And I already did the math here so I would know how much we're gonna need to roll over. We're gonna need to roll over $240. So I did add that down here, roll over $240. So when we did the budget, we ended with 541. If we take away that rollover of 240, that will leave us 301 to put towards our first debt goal, which if we go back here to my goals, our first goal is to have a thousand dollar cushion in our bank account. So let's do, let's do the actual numbers and see where we ended um, and, and as far as how much we're gonna be able to put towards that first goal of $1,000 into our cushion. Okay, so let's start at the top. We thought we were gonna roll over 1366, but we were only able to roll over 825 at the end of last month. The first paycheck um, is 1834, and that's, that's what we thought it was gonna be, that's what it actually was. So it brought our total to um, 2659. Okay, our cable was more, uh, I explained this because it was because we canceled one cable and then a new cable came out and I don't know, it was just a big, a big thing. But <laughs> so we were over budget here. Mortgage was exactly what we thought it was going to be. First medical debt was what we thought it was going to be. Disney Plus was what we thought it was going to be. These have not come out yet. Google Fi, oh wait, wasn't Google Fi $52? Where's Google Fi? Yeah, it was 52. So that's $2 more than we budgeted for. And garbage came out, which was $58. We hadn't budget, budgeted for, I need to fix this. Um, we recently went from paying every month to paying every three months. So I need to make an, I think I need to make a cash envelope for that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let me calculate those expenses. 1637. Okay, so we have 2659 and we're going to take away 1637. That leaves us with 1022. It's a big difference because we didn't have as much rollover to start with as we thought we were going to have. Okay, so we come down here to our variable expenses. We are starting with 1022. And I'm going to take away all of these expenses. Okay, when I add all this together, it comes to 668. So 1022 minus 668 leaves us with 354. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up here to our sinking funds. Okay, we spent $259 on sinking funds. Whew. We, this is not looking good, my friends. Okay, so $95. So we're left with $95. Yeah, this is not good. We are going to be negative. Okay, so $95. Instead of $541, like I thought was going to happen, we are going to need... $240, so 95 minus 240 is a hunt, we're gonna need $145. Oh man, oh, okay. So nothing can go towards the cushion because we are negative 145. Yikes, 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 yikes. So, um, it's okay. We're going to be okay because, um, if you've, I, if you've been following my Tuesday, is it Tuesday? No, my Wednesday, um, side hustle income videos, you'll know that I do have a little bit of money. We, I wanted to put it towards debt snowball, but it looks like we're gonna have to put it towards our budget first. So we're going to be okay. It's just sad because I wanted to put that money towards debt snowball. So, but 
stay tuned because we still have two weeks of Etsy income coming in and we still have my YouTube income coming in. So we still might be able to do a debt snowball payment this month. Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next week. Bye everyone.